logo design just got super easy. All you have to do now is find a template, replace the text, replace the images, and add your own colors. And presto, like magic, your logo is complete. In this video, I'm going to take you step by step through the process of creating a custom professional logo, even if you have zero design skills. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you're on logomaker.com. That's L-O-G-O-M-A-K-R without the E.com. And just click start my design right here. This is going to open up a blank canvas that looks like this. Here you could search for millions of graphics and add them to the canvas, or you could add text. But what we're going to do right now is go into the design templates here on the bottom and we're going to find a design template that we like best and as you can see they have really beautiful templates you could use here's one that i want to use right here so i'm going to click on that it's going to open up into the canvas and now i could replace the text graphics and colors and make it my own logo so i'm going to replace this text right here with surf lessons now i want to replace this bottom text so i'm going to go to the layers and i'm going to click that bottom text right there and i'm going to move this layer above this layer just so I can make sure I hit that layer. I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to type in what I want. So I got Surf Lessons Manhattan Beach. Okay, but now I want to go ahead and change this icon right here. So I found the icon. It's over here and I'm going to click on this layer and I'm going to click this replace graphic and I'm going to look for a surfer. So I'm going to go into this little fine area and I'm going to type in surfer. There you go. All right. That's a nice one. Now I'm going to move this over here and I'm going to move this over here and I'm going to change the words on this one. There you go. You could also click on it and move it with your keyboard. Now I'm going to click this and I'm going to click on the edges and I'm going to drag and hold and make it a little bit bigger. There you go. And I centered that. That looks pretty good. The next thing I want to do is match the colors. So I like this blue right here. So I'm going to click on the circle, which I like, and I'm going to go to the outline. Notice they have an outline and a fill and I'm going to copy that outline. Right click, copy. I'm just copying that color. That's all I'm doing. Now I'm going back to this. I'm going to paste in that color. So I'm going to go to this fill and right click and paste. There you go. Now I have the exact color. It matches. The next thing I want to do is I want to change the font. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on Surf Lessons and I want to get a different font type. So I want this bold font. Now I want to go ahead and move it. There you go. And I'm going to do the same to the bottom part. So I'm going to go to Manhattan Beach, this little area, and I'm going to choose that font. There you go. And move it just a little bit. There you go. And I'm going to change these fonts too. There you go. That looks really nice. Now I want to add some color in the background of this circle. So I'm going to click on the circle here and I'm going to go to the fill and I'm going to move it from white to maybe I wanted a blue, but I want a light blue, just a nice light tint blue. There you go. That looks really good. You could also make this font a little bit smaller or bigger and by changing the size right here, I'm going to do that, make it a little smaller. And I think this logo is good to go. I'm going to go ahead and press save now by clicking the save button up on the top right hand right here and it's going to save it in high resolution format files right here as examples and when you download the high resolution format which is this button right here you could use it on your website and it won't get grainy or blurry you could use it for printing so it really looks nice when you print it and you get the full license and ownership to your logo and this is really good you also get social media files and favicon files favicon is that little icon right there on your website so that's it that's how you make a professional logo that's unique to you. Hope you liked it.